How's it going, YouTube? Uh, it's been like a month or so, I think, since I made my flask video. Um, everything's good. I'm in a new TV show called uh, The Tick on Amazon. I'm sure people have seen advertising for it. Um, I'm a recurring character. I play this guy named Khufu, uh, and he's in. He's a bad guy in the Pyramid Gang. So uh, check it out. Um, it's gotten really good reviews, and things are looking up. So please, if you have a chance to watch The Tick, you'll see my mug with an eye tattoo. Um, anyway, that was a quick plug. What I want to talk about today is uh, I've recently been doing some research on tobacco pouches. And my roommate got me this one uh, for Christmas of last year. It's an Eric Stokeby fourth generation roll-up leather pouch. Um, and it's interesting. The more I read about pouches, the more it seems like people hate them or love them or just use Ziploc bags. And obviously a pouch is like historically like this is a huge deal. Uh, you know, this is all people really had, leather pouches or sealskin pouches if they were like sailors um, to hold their tobacco. Now, what's great about living in today's world and being a pipe smoker is that the inside isn't just leather, which I will show you. The inside has surgical lining it's like rubber, latex, whatever. Um, but anyway, so here's what it looks like. Opens up like nya. You can see Eric's still be fourth generation. And then it rolls out like that. And inside is the surgical lining. And there is my tobacco. Um, right now I got some Carter Hall mixed in with some like ends of tins. But um, yeah, the surgical lining is unbelievable. Um, I've never been one to actually research tobacco pouches. My parents just got me my first one like three or four years ago, and it also has surgical lining in it. And sometimes I read reviews and people are like, oh, like, I only keep tobacco in there if I'm going to use it within two or three days. Um, I had Carter Hall sitting in this for about six to eight months maybe, and it was still moist, still fresh. Kind of unbelievable. Uh, I'm a little amazed at that just because of what people have said but truly if you just fill it up with this the right amount you don't overfill it so that when you fold it you get that nice pinch so that it's rubber on rubber and then really just kind of roll it up tight I can't imagine it's not going to keep the moisture there because uh, it's like rubber just touching rubber and so since it is a roll up and it can easily come apart and stuff I got this handy dandy big ass uh, red rubber band I just like this and then I'm good to go out on the town a night on the boardwalk uh, skipping a jump on the jolly lather. Um, anyway, so this is the pouch that I'm using now. Uh, and I think it's a pretty attractive pouch, honestly. Um, it's really high quality leather. It's a little rough. It's definitely not like a supple leather, so it's not like I'm just, you know, it's like easily malleable, but I think in time with use it'll get there. Um, but it is definitely attractive, I think. And it keeps the tobacco inside really fresh and moist for a very long time. And so, you know, it might take me like two weeks to go through a whole pouch of tobacco. In that time, it's nice to know that I don't have to continually refresh it or put in just a little bit because it's going to get dried out. Um, so if you guys don't have a tobacco pouch that's leather, but you kind of are thinking about it, you've had it with Ziploc bags, you just don't want to carry around a tin, I'd say think about a, uh, an Eric Stokeby leather pouch. And if you are, if you don't want to go with Eric Stokeby, uh, at least find it the one with surgical lining inside because um, it really works. And also, just after seeing, after looking, because I also read reviews that people were like, oh, the surgical lining gets stained with tobacco juice and your tobacco leaves a ghost and stuff. Um, I don't see any stains in here. Like real ones that I'm used to seeing, you know, and, and really old, like, tins. I don't see any real stains that would make me kind of like, oh, I can never put another tobacco in there. Um, however, I do think ghosting is always going to be a problem in dating as well as in tobacco smoking. But um, cha. Um, just because, as everyone knows, if you use something for one particular tobacco, no matter what it is, pipe or anything except for like a corn cob, it's going to get a ghost. So I would just say maybe get one for your everyday smoke and then... If you have the money and the riches and whatever else, you can get several more for your other blends, English aromatics, you know. However, Carter Hall is my everyday smoke. I love it. It's my probably my second favorite tobacco next to Orly Golden Sliced. Um, and so, 
That's what I keep in here. I take it with me everywhere. So that's my video. I hope y'all liked it. Um, again, Amazon, The Tick. It came out on August 25th. Um, leave a comment. Let me know in episodes four and five. They're going to release the second half of the season. They only released six episodes. So they're going to release the second half of the season uh, in December or January-ish. Um, and I have more... I have more lines and things to do in the second half of the season. So take a look. Let me know what you think. And it's good to be back and smoking a pipe and talking to y'all. So here we go.